In this video, we're going to look at how we can submit a form. So here currently, I just have a blank view, and I'm going to quickly mock up a form for this. And what I'm going to do is create a new Livewire component, then build out the form to submit. So over in my terminal, I'm doing a PHP artisan Livewire make. I'm going to call this component user form. So in this view, we're actually going to be creating a user. So let's jump over to our view and just quickly scaffold out the form now. So under resources and views in the Livewire folder, we should now have that user form.blade.php file. So I've just pasted out a sample form here from the Tailwind UI website. It's a pretty straightforward form. It just has three inputs. It's got name, email address, and password. Now over in our root template, for me, this is create.blade.php. We just need to bring in that live wire component. So we can do that with live wire, call one user hyphen form. Now let's refresh this in our browser. And we can see there we have our form. So now let's wire this form up. So it submits to live wire. So over in our user form, I'm just going to get rid of the action and the method here. I'm going to say wire submit. So when someone clicks the submit button, I want you to prevent the default action. I want you to call a method on my component call submit. Now we've not made this yet, but we'll do that in a moment. Now we also need to make properties on our live wire component that hooks into the three different inputs. So on this input here for name, let's create a new wire model for this. So we're just going to say wire call one model. And this is going to be equal to name. And then the same again for email. This is going to be wire call one model. And that's going to be equal to email and then finally the same again for password so we want a wire model that's going to be equal to password so now we just need to create these out on our live wire component over in the project under app http live wire let's open up our user form component the first thing we need to do is create their models or public properties as they are now on the component so we're doing public and we had one for name then we had one for email. We also had one for password. We were then submitting to a method called submit. So let's create that now. We're doing public function and we called it submit. And then inside of here is where we're going to handle the creation of the user. So we want to call our user model. We want to say create. And then we just need to pass in an array of the data. We're going to set the name field equal to this name so whatever's on the form in the name import is going to go here and then we're going to use it down here to submit onto the user create model let's duplicate this down twice then we're going to do email which is this email and then for password we can pass in this password but we also need to hash it as well so we can still call this password but we want to pass this into hash make so let's call the hash facade and we're going to say make we want to make a new hash for this password. And if you're following along with this and your ID hasn't pulled the namespaces in, then make sure you bring it in the app models user and also the hash facade, which is under illuminate support facades hash. And then after the user's created, you might want to just return back to the list users page. So you could say redirect back to list users page. But instead, what I'm going to do here is add a suite alert. So in a previous video, I showed you how to bring in suite alerts. So I'm just going to build on that functionality while I already have it in the application. But this is completely optional. This is up to you. I'm just heading over to my list users component that I made in a previous video. I'm just going to copy this over this dispatch event, which is how I'm displaying the suite alerts. And again, this is optional. You don't have to do that. Don't worry. And then I'm just going to say user created and obviously i'm making the assumption that that user create has worked but in the next video we will be looking at validation and checking that so let's just say here user created i don't want this to be an icon of error i want this to use the success icon and i'll leave the timer on there okay so let's try this out in the browser now i'm giving this page a refresh so i've just quickly filled out this form with some dummy data and then i'm going to hit save you can see there we get our suite alert saying user has been created. Now I head back to my dashboard. Here I am listing out all the users in the database. And again, this is one of the other previous videos. 
And you don't have to do this, but this is just showing us that the user has been created. So I'm just going to go to the last page. And there you can see our new test user has been created via the LiveWire form and it's been saved into the database. So that's how quick and easy it is to get started with submitting a form in Laravel LiveWire. And in the next video, we'll look at how we can add some validation to this form.